What's up guys, I'm Madison Matt, or just Matt, and today we'll be bringing you unboxing of the Master Grade H2 Double Bullet. As you can see here, it's already a pretty massive box for a kit that should fit in a standard half-size box like this, but let's, open, let's go around the box first. Here we have a new uh, warning label, which is just a single one now. I haven't tried taking this off, so I don't know how adhesive that is. Going to the other side here, we have some more dynamic poses and more functions along the mobile suit line. On top here, same as the bottom, just without the sticker in the way. And on the bottom here, without me hitting the stand on my camera, have some more mechanical marvels here, along with the not so fabulous looking transformation of the H2, along with opening functioning cockpit and the beautiful front box cover all computer generated and opening up the box side will be met with a lot of empty space actually but since most of these parts are actually just re uh, reused from the normal H2 we'll be met with the E and A plates along with poly caps dry transfer decals the normal decals and two foil stickers a large pink effect part along some more white and gray um, so it looks like duplicate parts with including another uh, beam effect part uh, two plates of red lots of small plates here we have red, pink, blue uh, clear blue and I believe these are this, uh, yep, gray. A lot more gray here, two more plates there. Small sheet of yellow, along with two more sheets of, uh, or plates of gray. And one and a half plates of white. And I didn't even, even notice, but I did get a campaign card in here, so I guess I'll enter that soon. I should probably check the other box if I got anything. And on the bottom here, we have the H2 double bullet. Magazine or construction manual. Taking a closer look inside the manual, here we have the standard layout and uh, format of the H series of Master Grade manuals. Very nice. Opening it up shows you more backstory behind the mobile suit and the uh, pages where each uh, construction will start, along with the simple how to cut the parts off the tree guide. Here we have parts checklist along with a broken replacement part for Japan use only. Here we're starting off with the body, just like we did with the Dark Hound. Going on with the head unit, and this does also include the plates required to make that certain part. Finishing off, or going next to the arms. Splash page in the middle along with more details um, about the pilot and his adversary. Showing, and here's another page showing off all the uh, poses you can possibly do and show off. I'm probably going to stick with this one after I'm done building them. Effect parts, you have the twin uh, rifles in there. Next page here, going on to the waist, legs, and final assembly. Moving on to the weapons, we have the twin Dodds cannons. Opening it up here, show you the construction of the beam sabers, how to transform it into the not so appealing jet flight mode, and the decal page to put and apply all the decals. And on the back, we are met with a nice clean look of the finished mass degrade H2 double bullet, professionally painted by a professional, obviously. There you go. And with that, hope you guys like my unboxing. If you leave a comment down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.